Welcome to this episode of TripleSec channel. In this video, we're going to talk about what is a call graph and how we can write a simple script in Ghidra to create a call graph. Let's first talk about what is a call graph. A call graph is a graph in which each node is a function. And the edges between uh, functions represents the relationship between functions. For example, if we have a function and we call another function inside that, the, the function which calls another function is called a caller function. And a function which has been called inside another function is called a calling function. For example, in this example, f1 is a function which calls f2. f1 is called caller and f2 is called calling function. f2 is a caller function for f3 and f2 is called caller function and f3 is called calling function. So, as you can see, in the call graph, we have an edge from a caller function to the caller function. Now let's write uh, an, uh, let's write a script in Ghidra to create a call graph. Here I have a VS Code IDE, and um, I assume that the Ghidra tone, which is a module for Ghidra, is installed. If you want to write and run your script in Python 3, you need to install Gidraton. Uh, here I have two modules, run.py and gidrascript.py. So run.py is responsible to run the Gidra script. I have to run my Gidra script using analyze headless binary. As you can see here, I, I need to run my script uh, using headless analyzer and I have to pass um, the path to my binary file. I have to import it and also as you can see um, I'm calling Ghidra script um, which is the, the script to generate call graph and then I will run it um, run.py will run Ghidra script. Okay, inside Ghidra script, um, I, I want to uh, write functions to create uh, the call graph. For the same time, I have the script already here and I will explain each line with detail. So, as you can see here, um, I have a function create call graph. To create a graph, I will use NetworkX library, which is a very well-known library for creating graphs. Uh, you can also use, you know, um, and you can also import um, directed graph in Ghidra. Uh, but since NetworkX is um, is easier to use, so I just I will just use that. So inside create call graph, I have, um, um, I will uh, get the current program, which is the imported binary, and I will use get function manager, which um, will return all the functions inside the binary. And uh, to create um, the call graph, I need to, for each function, I need to find the list of Kali functions, or for each function, I need to understand um, which other functions were called inside that function. In order to do that, for each function inside functions, I will uh, first um, find the name of the function, and I saw also, I will write another function, um, find call functions to return the list of call functions for each function. So I will pass uh, the function object 
in this function and um, you can see here um, by using get called functions in Ghidra we can return the list of calling functions for each function so I will return for a specific function, for color function, I will return the list of all Kali functions. And what, what I'm going to do is I will add and create a node for the color function. And for each function in the list of Kali functions, I will get the name and find the Kali name. And I will create a node for that um, for that uh, function as well. And as you can see, we need to add an edge from the color function to the Kali function. And I will simply return the Kali graph. So, so the Kali graph will contain the functions and the Kali functions and um, there there's an edge between the color and the colors all Kali functions I will do this process for all functions in the binary the next step is to call create call graph so here I will simply call this function and I I will print um, all the edges inside this function. Remember to install um, NetworkX library. So you can see that when I run this script, it will show all the functions and the edges between them it shows like which function call another function for example you can see that main is calling um, a function which contains a stack based um, buffer overflow and uh, you can also see the list of all functions so yeah this is how we can create um, a call graph um in using Ghidra. I hope um, this video was useful for you. I will put the link to the GitHub um, and I will push all, all the scripts on GitHub and I will put the link to the GitHub um, uh, for you to use. Um, and thanks for listening to this episode of Triple Sec.